Do you want to run Chrome OS with full Google Play Store support directly from a USB drive? In today's tutorial, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Chrome OS onto a USB drive. So, let's dive into it. First, let's download the necessary files. Go to the cross.tech website and download the Chrome OS recovery file that matches your CPU architecture. For the Intel processors, use Shaivana for the 8th or 9th generations, Jinlon for the 10th generations and Voxel for 11th or higher. If you have an AMD Ryzen CPU, use Combos. I have an Intel 8th gen processor, so I'll be downloading Shaivana. Download the latest stable build, which is 129 for now. Next, visit the branch GitHub repository and download the latest release. The branch framework will allow you to install Chrome OS on a non-Chromebook device like your PC with an Intel or AMD processor. After downloading, extract the two files. Now, create a new folder and name it Chrome OS. Then copy the extracted files into this folder. Rename the recovery file to Chrome OS. The branch framework and its installation scripts are designed for Linux. So, Windows users will need to set up a Linux environment first. The easiest way to do this is with Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL. You can enable Windows Subsystem for Linux from the Windows Features page. After that, restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Once your computer restarts, you need to install a Linux distribution from the Microsoft Store. I am going to install Ubuntu, but you can install any distributions if you prefer. After installing Ubuntu, open it. The Ubuntu command line interface will appear. You will be prompted to create a new username and password for your Linux environment. Just do it to complete this setup. Now you have a Linux environment ready to go. Next, enter this command to update the system and install the required packages for the branch framework to function correctly. Now, we'll prepare the Chrome OS disk image file using the Ubuntu terminal. First, you need to navigate to the Chrome OS folder where you extracted the Chrome OS recovery file and branch file. Type cd space slash mnt slash. Then type the Chrome OS folder path in small letters. After that, Enter this command to create the Chrome OS disk image file. This process can take some time, around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your hard drive speed. So please wait. After the process is finished, hit enter and exit the Ubuntu terminal. The Chrome OS disk image file is stored in the same Chrome OS folder. Now we have to create a Chrome OS bootable USB drive using a program called Rufus. So download Rufus from its website.
ओपन रूफर्स प्लग इन योर यू एस बी फ्लैश ड्राइव इट ऑटोमैटिकली डिटेक्ट द यू एस बी ड्राइव यू जस्ट नीड टू सिलेक्ट द क्रोम ओएस डिस्क इमेज फाइल फ्रॉम द क्रोम ओएस फोल्डर क्लिक द स्टार्ट बटन टू फ्लैश द क्रोम ओएस इमेज टू द यू एस बी ड्राइव नाउ वेट फॉर रूफर्स टू कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस वंस द यू एस बी ड्राइव इज रेडी इट्स टाइम टू बूट इन टू क्रोम ओएस रीस्टार्ट योर पी सी एंड गो टू योर बायोस सेटिंग्स Make sure to disable secure boot. Then access the boot menu. Select the USB drive to boot into Chrome OS. Now the branch framework will load. It customizes Chrome OS to work on your non-Chromebook hardware. This process only happens during the first boot. You might need to wait 10 to 15 minutes for this process to be completed. After that, you will be greeted by the initial Chrome OS setup screen. Connect to Wi-Fi and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. When prompted, log in using your Google account. This will allow you to access all the Google apps and services including Google Play Store. So we have successfully installed Chrome OS on the USB drive. You can now open the Google Play Store and start downloading your favorite Android apps just like you would on a Chromebook. As you can see, the Play Store and all the other Google services like YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, etc are just working fine. Guys, I am using a 64 GB USB flash drive, but as you can see, out of 64 GB, only 2.6 GB of space is available. This is because when we install Chrome OS on a USB drive, it typically creates partition with a fixed size. By default, it doesn't use all the available space on your drive. To utilize the full available storage on the USB drive, we have to run a simple command in the terminal. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus F2 to open the terminal. Login as root user. Type resize data and hit enter. This command tells Chrome OS to reevaluate the available space on your USB drive and expand the data partition to use the full capacity. Wait a few minutes. After the partition resizing is complete, press enter to reboot the system. After the reboot, you can see that I have 43 GB of available space now. And there you have it. You have successfully installed Chrome OS with full Google Play Store support on your USB drive. You can now insert the USB drive on any computer and enjoy the Chrome OS without installing it on the hard drive. Since Chrome OS is installed on the USB drive itself, you won't lose your installed apps, settings and data if you plug in the USB drive into different computer.